riding day. The day we gear up, get out, and go wild on the trail. But don't worry, our family rides responsibly. Before we set foot on our ATVs, we gear up. And the most important piece, your helmet. You can't ride very well without your brain, so we need to keep it in good shape. After all, the Inner Mountain West has more kids being hospitalized because of a traumatic brain injury than almost any other region in the country. That's not great for those of you keeping score. So my kids, they strap a helmet to their craniums. It was good work, lads. You make your dad proud. Up next, goggles. Keep your eye holes covered, like grandma here. Whipping by a tree branch at 30 miles an hour without eye protection is a great way to lose one of your peepers. Gloves, check. Boots, check. Pants, check. Shirt, check. Other things to keep you safe from mother nature? Gloves, over the ankle boots, sturdy pants, and a long sleeve shirt. Yeah, it may seem a bit overbearing, but your kids will thank you when they come home without any flesh wounds. Now that you're ready to saddle up, there's a few things you should remember before hitting the open trail. First, never allow more riders than the ATV was designed for. Someone could get hurt. Like this. No! Humanity! Tragic. Second, use the right machine for the right age. Never let a kid under 16 drive an adult ATV. Third, stay off paved roads and stick to terrain that's within your skill level. You get into trouble, and the only one around might be this guy. Right. Finally, get rider training from a qualified instructor, either online or at an off-road retailer. Drivers under the age of 16 and those without a driver's license must be certified. Keep in mind, a child's risk of being hospitalized from riding an off-road vehicle is a thousand times greater than riding in a car. But don't let that thought ruin your ride. Just remember, when you're out on the trails, stay safe, ride responsibly, and don't forget to have some serious fun. <laughs>